Hi, I'm Sheena from the Jim Jams, along with Jane, Arlene, Mary and our friend Candy Cat. And we're going to bring you a gymnastic related movement session that you can do at home with your grown-ups or with your brothers and sisters. But before we start, we need to make sure we're safe. So have you got some space around you and is the floor safe so you won't trip or slip? Now, this week we're going to go on a shopping adventure. Let's go and look at our market stall. We've got groceries from the supermarket, we've got bread from the bakers, we've got meat from the butchers and my favourite, toys in the toy shop. Right, let's start with Candy Cat's favourite rhyme. Are you ready to stand up? Can you stretch up very tall? Can you crouch down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Should we do that one again? Ready? Can you stretch up very tall? Can you crouch down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Well done. Now, before I hand you over to Jane, I need you to go and find two things. You need to go and find a cord or a rope. It could be from your dressing gown. And also, I need you to find a pair of socks. OK, so if you pause the video and I'll see you later. Thank you, Sheena. OK, boys and girls, let's get going. We're going to dash around the supermarket this morning to do some shopping. We're going to buy some cereal. Can you make the shape of the cereal box? Big star shape. We're going to buy some eggs. So down onto the floor, make a tuck shape, tuck your head in to be the shape of the eggs. We're going to buy some peppers. Candy Cat loves peppers. And for our peppers, we're going this way round into a ball. We're going to buy some pizza. I want you to make a pizza shape. And we're going to buy some milk. Here's our milk. And for our milk, I want you to twirl round and round and round. So are you ready? Let's run around and when we see those things come up on the screen, I want you to make the shapes. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. First one, cereal. Make the cereal box shape. Great. And again, running round, running round. Egg. Can you go down on the floor? Make the shape of the egg. Great. Wow, we go again. Milk. Swirl around. Sloshing milk in the carton. Off we go again. Running, running, running. Peppers. Down we go on the floor. Make the shape of the peppers. Back up again. Let's jump this time. What are we going to see next? Can you jump around? It's an egg. Down we go. Hold those knees in in a tuck shape. Back up again, more jumping, 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 jumping. Cereal, make the shape of your cereal box. More jumping, off we go. Milk, round and round and round and round. Jump away again, this way and that way. Peppers, there we go. It's our pepper shape. Can you skip this time? Skipping, skip, skip, skip. Pizza, sit down, make your big wide straddle shape. Beautiful, more skipping, let's go. Skip around, skip around. What's next? Cereal, big wide shape. Skipping again, round we go. Skip, skip, eggs, down onto your bottom, hold your feet in, and the last one, let's do a bit more jumping, jump, 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 it's cereal, stretch out, brilliant, well done, I'm going to 
help you to Arlene and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thank you, Jane. Now in mind, we're doing our stretching. So we're gonna go off to the supermarket and do some of our shopping. I've got my basket ready. And where will I need to go first in the supermarket? You copy my actions. Do I need to go that way? No. No. I need fruit and veg and it's straight ahead. Right. Oh, I need potatoes. Potatoes. That down for a minute. I now know I'm lying with potatoes. Can you put your hands like that? One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Well done. And I need carrots. That's still in the vegetable section. Got the carrots. Let's put that down. Let's make our tall shape like a carrot. Bananas. Banana for later. And can you hold yourself up like that and turn and make a curve shape like a banana? And go the other way. Like a banana. And, um, some salad stuff. So I've got spring onion. Lovely. I need that. Pop that down. Beat together and do some drinks. Springing. Washing powder, where would that be? Let me have a look. Get my washing powder, put it in my basket, and I need that for my washing machine, don't I? Clean my washing. Washing machine goes round and round. Now the other arm, round and round. Well done. Now let me see, I need to go to the tin section. Oh yeah, yeah, I've got my tin, I'll have to pretend to get my tin of beans. Stretch up, put that in my basket, and I need a tin of soup. Get that, put that in my basket. And oh, I do need some pasta. Oh, I've got the curly whirly pasta. Put that in my basket. Put your hands on your hips, and let's do some hips going round like our curly whirly pasta. And the other way. Well done. And I do think, oh, I'll have some jelly for our pudding. Where's the jelly? Basket, I know. There it is. Pop it in my basket. And I know a song about jelly. Do you know it? Jelly on the plate. Jelly on the plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on the plate. Okay, oh, right. I need to go to the freezer section. Because I need some frozen peas. Where's the freezer section? Freezer section, put my basket down a minute and I'm going to reach into the freezer. Oh, it's quite low. Pick up my peas, put them in, and oh, I think we'll have some ice cream as well from the freezer section. Reach down, keep the legs straight if you can, pick up your pretty ice cream, put it in your basket, and now I need to go to the dairy section. I need some milk. There's my milk, get my milk, put it in my basket. And the milk goes, ooh, as we drink down it, doesn't it? And I know what else I need. I need some cheese. So I've got my cheese here. So sit in your straddle, knees to the ceiling, toes pointed, nice straight back. And I need my cheese sliced. So bring your legs into your pike position, put your hands at the back, and just lift the leg up and down. So we're slicing our cheese. put my cheese in my basket okay so I'm gonna go and pay for my shopping and then I need to go to the toy shop on my way home but in the meantime I'm going to send you over to Mary bye for now thanks Arlene hi children Candy Cat and I are shopping in our toy shop today and we can't decide which toy to buy would you like to help us choose Great! Well, well, let's make our muscles nice and strong and practice some of our gymnastic shapes by pretending to be some of the toys. And then maybe we can pick our favourite one to buy at the end. Are you ready to join in? Can you copy what I do? Excellent! Now, which toy would you like to be first? A jack in the box, I can see one over there. Are we ready? A jack in the box is in its box, nice and tall. 
and the lid comes down. So we're going to crouch down small into our little squat position, put our hands on the floor, and then it's going to get ready to bounce out. We're going to lean forwards and bend our arms. One, two, get ready, three, and a big jump out of the box. Excellent, shall we try that one again? I'm just going to turn sideways on so you can see. Big stretch shape, get ready, close the lid of the box, crouch down on our tippy toes, put our hands on the floor in front, get ready, bend forward, one, two, three, and jump out of the box. Excellent, well done, Jack in the box. What else shall we be? Let's use our straddle shape to be our teddy. We're going to open our legs nice and wide, knees pointing up to the ceiling, arms out to the side, straight backs. Oh, good teddy bear shape, well done. Now let's see if we can lift a leg. Ready, put your hand either side, lift one leg, try the other side. And what's going to happen if we lift both legs at the same time? Are you going to have a go? What do you think is going to happen? Whee! Rolling backwards in our straddle shape. Great job, everybody. Let's be a crane. We're going to make the crane really tall and it's going to lift some things. So bring our legs together, put your hands behind you, and let's pump up the crane by bending our arms and sitting up. Let's do five. Three, four, five. Well done. Now let's see if you can make the crane really tall. Bend those knees in, straighten the legs. Up goes the crane. It's going to go down to the ground and back up again. Did you manage that? That was a bit tricky, wasn't it? Now what else could a crane do? It can move things. I'm going to start off in my tuck shape by putting my socks in my feet. I'm going to check there's nothing behind me. Are you ready? Here comes the crane. It's going to go back. It's going to lift up. It's going to go over and back down. Do you think you can have a go at that? Have you got your socks again? Get ready. Put it in your feet. Use your tuck shape. Bend those elbows back. Lift the crane. See if you can rock it back and sit back up again. Great job everyone. That was a bit tricky, wasn't it though? So good job, good try. Now, right, for our dumper truck, I'm gonna use my socks. If you want to watch me first and then you can have a go. I'm gonna use my squat position by being really small on the floor. I'm gonna get my rubbish, I'm going to put it in my truck. I'm gonna put my hands flat on the floor my bin is going to be in front of me. Are you ready? I'm going to tip up. And if I tuck my head under, my rubbish goes in the bin. You're going to have a go with me. Great. See if you can balance on your tippy toes. Pick up your rubbish. Put it in your truck. Grown-ups, you might like to help with this one. Hands flat on the floor. Get ready. Tip, 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 tip. Oh no, it won't go in, but if we tuck our heads under, out it comes. Great job at being a dumper truck. Now, anything else? What can you see? What looks quite interesting? Candy cat sitting on something interesting. I think it's a box. And it's got a key. Come and sit with me. Let's turn the key and count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Lifting the lid. <gasps> it's a musical box. Wow! But we haven't got time to look at it now. So I'll see you later and you go off and see Jane. Bye. Thanks Mary. Okay children, now earlier we went shopping and we bought some things and we put them in our trolley in the supermarket. Now we're at the till and we've got to do some balance work to get them out of the trolley, along the belt and into our shopping bag. So we bought 
some cereal, didn't we? And we made this star shape to be the cereal box. You're going to pick it up out of the trolley, tipping the box slightly. You're going to place it on the belt and along it goes and into your shopping bag at the other end. Great. We bought an egg. We're going to sit down on our bottom. Here's the egg that we bought. Pick it up out of the trolley. So feet off the floor if you can. Hands off the floor. Great work. The egg's going to shuffle along the conveyor belt. And then it's going to go and we're going to rock back. So I want you to make sure there's nothing behind you. You might need to move into your shopping bag. Great. We bought a pepper. Here's our pepper curled up. I want you to pick the pepper up. It's going to go along the conveyor belt and back down into your shopping bag. We bought a pizza. Now the pizza is going to tip out of the trolley, up onto the conveyor belt, over it goes, and into your shopping bag, the other side. Well done with that pizza and milk. Here's our milk and our milk is going to turn this way and that way and this way and back round into your shopping bag. And we've packed all the things that we bought. Good work. I'm going to pass you back to Arlene. See you later. Hello again, everybody. Well, as I said, I went off to the toy shop and I got some music. And it's instrumental music. Do you know what that means? It's music without any words. And we're going to use that music for our jumping and landing session. Do you remember our jumps? Start nicely, bend the knees, push with your feet, swing your arms up and hold that landing quietly and then we'll land with our knees bent automatically. Let's listen to the music first because it's going to play and it has a sound and when it does that sound we're going to do our jump. I'll let you listen to it. Listen. That is where we're going to do our jump. So you'll need to keep listening, won't you, as well. Let's get going. Still listening. Keep listening. We're going to do our jump again, but we're going to do it with a half turn. Okay, so let's get going. Did you keep up with all those movements? We're going to do it again. And this time we're going to do our star jump and our feet back again.
apart together. And did you keep up and hear the music each time with that sound? Good job, well done. Thank you, Arlene. Okay, children, when we got our shopping home earlier, we only bought one pizza and it wasn't enough. So we need to make one. So I want you to take your bowl. Here's your bowl. And I want you to put some flour into a sieve. Hold the sieve in this hand. Tip your flour into the sieve. Shake the sieve so that the flour goes into the bowl. Great. Take some water. Here's our water. Pour a little bit of water into the flour. Then we need a pinch of salt. Can you spread the salt? A little bit more with this hand. The salt. And so then we're ready to mix. You can put your hands in the bowl here. Doesn't matter if they get sticky. As long as they were nice and clean when you started. Mix it all around. And there we've got our pizza dough. So, take it out of the bowl and we put it onto the side, press it down. We can move our bowl away and we need to roll the pizza dough nice and flat. See if you can make it a circle, like a pizza. Can you make it a circle? Great. Now we're ready to decorate the pizza. So we want our tomato base on first. Here's our passata that we can use for the tomato base. And we need to cut the corner off. Can you hold your passata and cut the corner off with the scissors? Tip it onto the pizza. And then we need a nice flat knife. If you've got a flat knife to just spread the passata around your pizza base. Now, beautiful, that's looking really good. What should we put on our Pizza. Cheese and tomato I like. Do you like cheese and tomato? Or you could just do some mushroom or you could do some pepper because we bought those things earlier. Let's go with cheese and tomato. So pick up your tomato and we need to slice it. Slice the tomato into pieces and then pick up the pieces and carefully decorate them. Where would you like to put them on your pizza? A bit more, a bit more. Lovely. And cheese. So here's our block of cheese and we need, this is the grater. Can you grate the block of cheese? Grate your cheese. It's a bit difficult, isn't it? But you're doing a good job, well done. Okay, shake those away grater over there and now pick up the cheese and you sprinkle your cheese around your pizza it's looking really good a bit more cheese all the way around wow tiny bit of salt and pepper that's enough of the salt a little bit of pepper not too much pepper and it's ready to go in the oven. And then we'll have two pizzas, which is enough. Great. Can you pick up your pizza? And we probably need a grown up to help us with the next bit because the oven's hot. Okay, hope you enjoyed making a pizza and I will see you next time. I'm gonna pass you back to Arlene. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jane. For this section, we're going to be doing some coordination skills. I've been to the toy shop and while I was there, I bought a skipping rope, I bought a rabbit, I bought a clock, a rocking horse, I spent a lot of money, Ooh. and I bought some a crab so we could play at the seaside. So with your rope, you will need that in this section. So if you haven't got one, pause it and come back to us. We need our rope. We're going to put it down on the floor, lay it down on the floor in a straight line. And then stand at the end of it with your feet apart and the rope between your legs. Put your arms up. Can you do that shape? And now put your arms down. And you're going to rock from side to side and you your right. Hickory dickory dog, copy me. The mouse swung up the clock. 
The clock struck one, the mouse went down. Hickory dickory dock, to foot over the other side of the rope again. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. Now we're going to carry on doing this and we're going to move along the rope. Move along the rope. And you can turn round, do it again going back. Tick tock, tick tock. For the next part, we're going to pretend to be clamps. So we're going to go down, do our front support, put our hands just in front of our rope, put our legs out straight, keep your arms straight as well, and we're going to walk sideways with our hands quite close to our rope. And we're going to go back again. Make sure you keep your bottoms down if you can. Okay? Okay, children, so most weeks we've been doing bunny jumps. We'll just go over and watch me first. Hands down, keep your arms straight because if they bend, you'll hit your nose and you jump your feet up together. But today we are going to do a bunny hop. So it's the same thing, but we take off one leg and land on the other. So, put your hands down, keep your arms straight again, you don't want to fall and hit your nose. And this time, you're going to jump up with one foot and then the other one, and land one foot, then the other. Let's do that again. You have it there this time. Put your hands down, keep those arms straight, jump up one foot, then the other. One foot, then the other. Don't go too high though, because you don't want to go flying. Now we're going to stand our feet at the side of our rope. Put our hands the other side, keep those arms straight again, but we're going to jump one foot over, then the other. Move your hands up again, put them over the other side of the road, jump one foot over, then the other. Did you manage to do that? Okay, now this time we're going to put our rope into a triangle. Let me get mine right. If you need help, you can get someone to come and help you with it. Mine looks much like a triangle, but we'll give it a go. And what you're going to do is put your hands at the top of your triangle, and then you're going to jump your feet, one foot, then the other, over to the other side. Keep those arms straight still, and you're going to jump one foot over to the other side, then the other. And again, one foot over, then the other. And that is the beginnings of our cartwheel. But hopefully, when we get back to the gymnastic club, we'll be able to do more of those. Bye for me for now and I'll hand you over to Mary. Thanks Arlene. Hello children. You've been busy shopping today, haven't you? Well, we're back in our toy shop, ready to do our cool down. Candy Cat is turning the key on the musical box, ready so we can do our stretches and do some cooling down. Are you ready to join in? Do you think you can copy Candy Cat? And do you think you can copy what I do? Great, get ready then, copy Candy Cat.
and everybody, well done. I hope you enjoyed your day shopping with us and I'm going to pass you over to Sheena. So I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mary. Now, when we get our fruit and vegetables, we usually get them from a supermarket, but we might get them from a greengrocer's or even from the market. Now, some of our vegetables grow underground and they have to be dug up out of the earth. Things like our leeks, our carrots and potatoes and onions. But some vegetables grow above ground. Things like the greens, the broccoli and the courgettes along with fruit. Now, when your grown-up cooks peas, they probably get them out of the freezer. But did you know peas actually come in a pod? Let's open up our pod and see what's inside. We're going to shell the peas. Let's have a look. Can you see the peas inside? Let's take them out. Let's take them out and put them into my bowl. Can you see all my peas? And we'll put the husks into another bowl. Now, that reminds me of a song about five fat peas in a pea pod press. Shall we sing it together? Are you ready? Ready? Show me your hand. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew, and I thought they'd never stop, when all of a sudden the pod went pop. Well done. <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap and a pat on the back. That's all from the Jim Jams this week. We hope you enjoyed this Jim Jam session. We'll see you again very soon. Bye.